Yo, what is up guys? Delboy here. I hope you guys are doing well. So Tony Yoka is scheduled to make his return to the ring on the 13th of July. Now he last fought on the 23rd of June in 2018 against Dave Allen. In that fight, Tony Yoka stopped Dave Allen in the 10th and final round. But yeah, since then he's been inactive due to missing free drug tests. Now I don't believe this guy tested positive for anything, but he was handed a one year ban by the French anti-doping agency and it's really halted the momentum in his career obviously. But he returns to the ring on the 13th of July and he is scheduled to fight heavyweight trial horse slash veteran Alexander Dimitrenko. Alexander Dimitrenko is an experienced heavyweight as we know. He's 36 years old with a record of 41 wins, 5 defeats. He's been in there with the likes of Kubrat Pulev, Joseph Parker, Eddie Chambers, Andy Ruiz Jr, Bryant Jennings. Dimitrenko's been about for quite some time. He's a big guy and he's experienced. For a comeback fight, I don't think this is too bad for Tony Yoka and in fact, Arguably, it's the toughest opponent of his career to date. So far, you would argue Dave Allen or Jonathan Rice are his best opponents. I believe Alexander Dimitrenko, even at this stage, has to be rated above those guys. So, you know, after a long while out, I think it's a decent fight to come back to. And I would say it's a decent step up in comparison to his previous competition. Tony Yoka, he can't afford to mess around with Dimitrenko. Like I said, Dimitrenko, he's a big lump and he can actually also punch. So he can't afford to mess around. But I expect Tony Yoka to win this fight and I think he'll win it well. Tony Yoka now, he served his ban and I want to see how he gets on in his pro career. He obviously won a gold medal in Rio 2016 at Super Heavyweight. I know people dispute that, including myself, but he's a good prospect. He has some interesting attributes to bring to the heavyweight division. He's got quick feet, quick hands. He's a very good athlete. He puts his shots together well, and he's a really good boxer from the outside. I think he's an interesting prospect. I think he can go a fair way. Do I believe this guy is going to become a heavyweight champion? I don't believe so, but he's certainly a talented fighter. But I wouldn't put him up there with the likes of Filip Hergovic, F.A. Ajagba, or people like that. But I certainly believe he is a good, solid prospect at heavyweight. He's one to watch, certainly. And after this fight, I've heard rumours of Tony Yoka fighting Johan Duharpas in France. I wouldn't have a problem with that at all. I think that's a good fight to have in France. Obviously, two Frenchmen. And it would be a good test for Tony Yoka. If he were to fight Dimitrenko and Duharpas in his next two fights, I think that's really good progress, to be honest with you. But yeah, Tony Yoka, he makes his return to the ring on the 13th of July. I can't lie, I'm looking forward to it. Share your thoughts below. Peace.